Hello there and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up guys and welcome back to another cool and fun tutorial. Got some more trains for you. These are the BNSF SD70 Ace and Mac. I'm going to show you how to build both of these in this tutorial. So let's sit back, relax, grab a handful of nuts, kick yourself in the face, and let's get this shit started. Alright guys, before we get started, we're going to take a real quick look at both of these engines. They're pretty much identical. We're going to build the Ace first uh, because it's just easier. And then all we're going to do is go back and just rip a few things off and shift a few things around to make the Mac. Uh, so anyways, the materials that we're going to be using, I'm using orange stained clay. I've got black stained clay, uh, stone brick slabs and stairs, mossy cobblestone wall, acacia fence gate. I've got some nether brick uh, variances here, iron door, iron bars, ladder. I got a torch, buttons, black stained glass pane, wooden trap doors, nether brick fence, uh, polished diorite, black carpet, quartz slab, and a sign. Now some of the stuff you are probably not going to have because this is a texture pack specific build on mine, but you can change some things out. Uh, for the darker stuff here, you can use cobblestone, and uh, for the polished diorite for the engines, you can just use like an iron block. We're going to cover it up with a wooden trap door anyways, so you won't see it. But everything else you should have. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so your track bed should look just like this. You're going to have gravel, of course, either one up in the air or put it down on the ground, however you want. And then skip every other one, putting wooden slabs and uh, anvils in the middle. Really, really simple design. All right, two more things that I forgot to add was a black wool and a hopper. Uh, other than that, that should be it, <laughs> unless we find something else along the way. Uh, so we're going to start with the black wool right on top of the track right here. And if you're flying, the easiest way to do that is to hold the space bar and the shift at the same time, and then you can creep and you can put it down on the tracks without actually opening up the inventory for the anvils. So skip two spaces, skip two spaces, and then go straight across from that. And that is your setup for the back. All right, you're going to go to your nether brick slabs or your cobblestone, whichever you are going to be using, and go right in between by two. Fill this up. Go in between here. And, of course, the front of the train is behind me going that way. <laughs> Hopefully you've done figured that out. And one more row across the front. And then we're going to grab our cobblestone uh, wall, and we're going to write, write down the middle one, two, three, four, and five, just like that. All right, back to your solid block of nether brick or your cobblestone, whatever you're using for your black. And you're going to put two blocks behind here, two blocks behind here, and a regular stair here, and a regular stair, whoops, <laughs> right there. All right, just to the outside of that one here, we're going to put one here, and we're going to put one right there. And then we're going to go back to our slabs, and we're going to put one in the top hit box right, whoops, in the bottom hit box, rather, right there. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to take some sort of a block and we're just going to lay it down right in front of that slab. That way we can put our uh, fence gates on and open them up just like that. So same thing over here. Put your fence gates on and open them up. Put your fence gates on and open them up. <laughs> and make sure you put them in the right place, guys. It's going to go right there. Open that up. All right, moving forward, we're going to grab our hoppers. And those are going to go right in front of each one of the wheels. Just like that. And then go ahead and go back to your slabs and go right in between. So it should look just like that. All right, you should have 15 blocks to the next wheel up front. So from right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then you should be back to your black wool and put your wheel, skip 2, put your wheel, skip 2, put your wheel. And then same thing on the other side. And you're going to build the exact same thing that we did down here, just in the opposite direction. So again, this one here to this one here should be 15 slabs. All right, and you're just going to double that up, or rather triple that up through the middle. So you're going to build this up and this one up. All right, so that's what you should have in the middle. Three wide. Total of 15 from one block to the other one right here in between the black wheels. Now just keep repeating that just so you don't get confused when we get up top and you'll end up being one block short. Put your hoppers on the outside because you know it's always going to be that one block. <laughs> Go ahead and put your slabs in the middle. And then between your hoppers. And one on each side of the hopper. So it looks just like that and you should have 
13 spaces in the middle and we're going to take our stone brick slabs and put them in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen same thing on the other side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen again it should look just like that we're going to go back to our cobblestone wall and we're going to go right here in the middle and these two blocks should not be there we're going to go one two three four and five all right these right here should be solid blocks we'll take those out and go one two one two just like that and then back to your slab and put one right here and put one right here and then back to your stairs put one in front of that and one in front of the uh, solid blocks right here so again that's what you should have put another block down right here and then put your fence gates all right and that is what layer one should look like and i'll just go ahead and say right now this whole bottom piece just the first layer it was borrowed from Ragin over in operation realism he's the one that inspired this build and I, and I brought it back over to my world and i actually made a lot of changes to it but the very first layer is his i just extended it by two blocks uh, everything else up on top is of course mine uh, except for these little pieces right here in the front and same thing in the back but everything in the middle i went ahead and changed around a little bit and uh kind of made it my own but anyways just wanted to go ahead and throw that in there thanks to him for the uh inspiration on this build forgot to mention that in the beginning all right guys let's go to layer two all right guys sticking with your nether brick or your cobblestone whatever you're using for the dark uh, base here go three across the back just like that and you can do the same thing across the front in between the stairs right here one two three and you're just going to uh, fill this in solid all right so it should look just like that three wide all the way to the front across the steps right here all right just above your hopper we're going to go ahead and put two slabs just like this building that up and then in between so it looks just like this and same thing on the other side and of course you can do the same thing in the front when we get to it two in between just like that grab your nether brick stairs or cobblestone stairs and it's going to go right there and same thing here and then across the back we're going to have three more solid blocks just like that and then upside down one two three and then you're gonna have upside down stair right here upside down stairs right here so it looks just like that from the back you see they kind of make like little c patterns here 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 and here all right gonna do the same thing up front so again right here we're gonna grab our stone bricks and put two here two here two here two in the middle two in the middle and one right there and the other side <laughs> if I can get them in the right spot here guys and overhang by one and make sure you overhang by one right here and here and then take your stairs and those are gonna go in right here same thing on the other side all right up here to the front we're the same thing we did in the back so we're gonna go three more blocks across here we're gonna put our stairs in right here and right here upside down stairs here here and here and it should make another one right there and here to make those C's so again here's a C and there's a C same thing on the other side and same thing right here all right that is the first two layers all right next layer is really easy guys uh, forgot our fences we need to put right in here on the top step I did forget to add those in again on both both ends you probably got it <laughs> hopefully if not go ahead and throw them in right there all right back to the back of the train we're going to grab our black stained clay and we're going to go one block in right here one here and one here and then same thing going out the other way just like that so you've got one of these little blocks exposed here in the corner and you can cover them up with carpet pieces right here there's just uh five, one two three four five carpet pieces that go around the back side and our iron bars so we're just going to go right here and trace the back and then take our carpet pieces one two three four and five and then that covers up that and then we're just going to run this to the front and i got just a little bit of lag right there and you're going to again stop one block short and you're going to come in just like that same thing we did in the back except this block is going to go here instead of out front you're going to use your uh, carpet pieces to cover this up and you're going to use your iron bars around the outside and your carpet pieces here again in the middle three here and one right there 
All right, next two layers, we're going to come in one, two, three, and we're going to put some blocks right here. You can use orange, whatever you want. That's where the, uh, the door is going to uh, the set on the inside anyways. So you can use whatever color here that you want. We're going to start on the back, and we're just going to build everything up by two. All right, and you're just going to come to the inside just like this, and you're going to skip a spot right here. This is where your engine block is going to go, so you can either use uh, this texture pack. I'm using the polished die right, or you can use your iron block right here. All right, same thing around here. You're going to set right there. Skip a spot, put your engine block right there. I'm going to grab your iron doors, and those are going to go right here and here. All right, we're going to go up here to the front, and we're going to trace this one, two, three, and we're going to go back by eight on the outside here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and build that up twice. And same thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, build it up twice. Are right, you going to make this one solid? And this one's solid right here. So it looks just like that. We're going to skip three spaces, one, two, three, and then put another one right here. So you've got a three by three area. Basically, that's where they're going to sit when they're driving this thing. So you can just build this up if you want with whatever blocks that you have. You're not going to see this anyways. And then put some sort of a dash up here. And again, I'm just grabbing what I have in my inventory. And then put two seats here. And then you can put some uh, levers back here, some buttons or whatever you feel fancy for an engineer area, <laughs> whatever you want to call that cockpit. All right, back to your orange. All right, we're going to come to the inside right here and go three, three blocks. <laughs> One, two, three, build it up. Same thing here. And then you can go ahead and fill this in solid right here behind it. So it looks just like that. Now you're just going to connect the bottom ones from here. I'm just going to build that up again. You're not going to see these. If you want to take those out, you can. Go ahead and connect this. And connect this side. All right, and now for the black stripe in the middle, grab your black stained clay, and it's just seven from the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go back to your orange and fill it in. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that is those two layers. All right, back to the front of the engine. We're going to put three black stained glass right here. And then the glass panes on the side. One here and one here. All right, put two more pieces down the side here and here. And then back to your orange and build that up here and here. And then across the middle, one, two, three. And then that fills that in solid. Again, you can put doors in here later on. It's, it's up to you however you want to trim this out. All right, continue running these on top. And go two past right there. So again here, and go two past the black. Switch back over to your black wool and finish it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on the back, just like that. Go back to your slabs and cover up the first five. One, two, three, four, five. Same thing on this side. One, two, three, four, five. All right, back to the front of the engine, and we're going to go right across these three pieces of glass right here, and we're just going to build that up by four, two, three, four, and just covering up the uh, the main cockpit area. Go back to your nether brick, one, two, three, and then a slab. Same thing on this side, one, two, three, and then a slab. All right, swing back around, grab your black stained clay, and you're going to put a piece here and a piece here. All right, grab your engine block and put in two pieces here. Go back to your black stained clay and put two pieces and fill this in solid. And the same thing down the middle and cover those with the trap doors. All right, right in the middle of that, put two slabs and then switch over to your quartz slabs and put two right here. Grab your black carpet and go ahead and cover everything else up. All right, so it should look just like that. All right, grab your another brick and put a piece right here. All right, and then back to your slabs, and you've got eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should draw even with the back of the black here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then fill that in in the middle. This last one gets built up. Skip two, and then put another one right there. All right, back to your black stained clay. And go three across here. And do two more. And then grab your cobblestone wall. And I know it's mossy. I keep calling it cobblestone, but it just makes it easier. Put two pieces right here. Put a black stained clay. Put two more pieces. Put two more pieces. And then an iron bar right here in the end. And then back to your stained clay. And then just surround that. All right, so it should look just like that. All right, grab your engine block. and should have two 
straight across from the exhaust and then your slabs on the upper hit box here in the middle and on the outside so it looks just like that same thing over here all right then take your slabs and we're just going to trace on the outside two one two one two two so it looks just like this cover up the rest with carpet All right, and that is it. That is the basic design for the uh, SD70 Ace. You only just put a, a little piece of fence post here in the middle and make sure you, you trim out your uh, engine blocks here with your trap doors. Uh, put a button for your door back here and then put all your fence posts along the outside and then climb up the side and then go to here and put a couple buttons on top of that, skipping a block every other one. Put a couple signs on the side of it, whatever you want to put. Uh, we've got a couple pieces across here and now for my lights I've got a 3d texture in here uh, that turns it into this this light right here uh, it's actually a torch uh, if you don't have that uh, go ahead and use an item frame and then stick like a white wool block in the middle for the light system and again you got two more signs up here and that is your 70 ace all right so right there it is really really easy to make it into the Mac the only difference is basically is you're gonna rip everything off the sides right here so start just like this and rip this off and rip these side panels off do the same thing over here all right rip these off and there's three exhaust ports on top versus two on the Mac so you can see they're they're single so basically all we're going to do is we're going to go every other one so go ahead and take this out take the middle out and then that and then this one here and put a slab and then grab your cobblestone wall for your exhaust piece and you're going to skip every other one uh, one skip two one here skip two one here and then take these off so that we can trim the outside and I think we've got okay just covers on the top so if you want to go ahead and fill this in solid in between that way they kind of connect grab your slabs put two out here and just start whoops and then trace everything to in the middle not on the outside just like that and right here and then a carpet piece uh, whoops we need to fill a solid piece in here carpet to fill in the rest of it and actually we need <laughs> I shouldn't have done that yet we need to put our engine blocks in right here underneath uh, where the exhausts are so right here one two three four five six seven Go ahead and put those in and make sure you cover those up with uh, your trap doors and your carpet and do the same thing on the opposite side. And then that trims out the back that makes that adjustment. The front adjustment here is simple. Go ahead and take out these, knock this down, uh, both layers. This gets moved back by one, so get rid of this and this one. Fill it in solid here and here cover it back up take that off open this up put in two cobblestone wall pieces here in the middle put in another engine block right here and here and then of course cover that up take the white pieces off the top and cover that up go back to your orange and we're gonna have two pieces going up right here with slabs on top back to your fence post put one here fill that in by two do the exact same thing on the other side and that makes that adjustment and then right here in the front oops we need slabs here <laughs> right there they are right here we're gonna put two right there and then in the front the uh, the only difference between that one and this one is a black block right here with a light in the middle and that is it for your BNSF EMD 70 series Mac and Ace engines so I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys like always remember to rate comment subscribe follow me on Twitter and I'll catch you guys on the next one later